Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, as usual, has got quite a varied mix of contents. I do quite a bit of work on the lathe. Uh, I machine some tapers and machine a mandrel so I can mount some car brake drums, trailer brake drums on, cast iron brake drums, and I reface those. I show sure quite a bit of that. Last week's giveaway was the scribe block. Well, I made a scribe. Uh, hard and temp on it and I got that in the post that's sent away it should be nearly in America by now I would imagine Deb's going to do this week's draw which is for the brand new DPI gauge Hi everybody I hope you're all well my name's Deb and I'm John's wife I hope you're all doing good and today is win a race Eric Rees That's some viewer mail come in uh, I'll show that and some of this is going to be also used as giveaways because it's stuff I've already got uh, the lad sent it in, the lad called Hugh Bell from Scotland um, I'll show I'll bring the camera in sure but as one or two nice bits and pieces some that I will keep because it's better than what I've got the other stuff I'll, it'll be given away I'd rather give it away and have somebody get use from it is it just lie in a drawer and here uh, forever basically this was the first item that Hill sent us it's a nice set of thread gauges American they're actually better than the ones I've got both Imperial and Metric so they'll be put to very good use Right, the next item is a nice little more than right one inch micrometer. It's the same as the one I've got, except mine's all worn here. I was using it over the years. I actually got mine on my 18th birthday and I've still got it. Um, I've actually got a, one of these and I've got a brand new Starrett inch mic. So this one will be given away. As I've said, it's pointless me putting it in the cupboard and keeping it forever. So it will be given away. That will actually be the prize for next week's giveaway. Also, there's a lovely Mitsuyo internal micrometer, brand spanking new, imperial, all its bits and pieces, never been opened, never been out of the box. Once again, I've already got one of these, which means actually a Starrett one. So this, once again, will be given away. There's also two roller bearings, so I can eventually get the, the push tools made and push it off to the people I said I would do them for. Once again, Hugh, thanks very much. Some nice items. I'm sure people will be really happy to receive them. It's appreciation gifts off me. So this week's giveaway is going to be the Note to one inch, more than right micrometer that Hugh kindly sent in to us. If you want a chance to win this micrometer, all you have to do is email me your name. That's my email address up there somewhere. Send me your name in an email, both parts of your name. Your name will go into the bucket if your name is drawn out by Emmy or Dave or whoever's available at the time to do the draw. I will post this off to you anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. If your name is not drawn this week, it remains in the bucket until next week. There's more and more names coming in all the time. Um, it's just a way for me to give something back for all the support and help I've had over the years. This is a brake drum of a trailer. Um, I've got eight of these to machine, skim the inside. I don't like doing these because they're horrible dirty things, but it's for a friend. And that could be quite a few to do. Um, so what you can do, you can mount it in the chuck like that, and clock in basically on that face there, in that face there, which will mean that that braking face is running true. But we're having so many to do. I've decided to make a mandrel up with some tape or adapters. I've got a couple of bar ends. I'm going to turn some tapers that are a good fit in there, uh, drilling them inch. 
and I've got a mandrel at them. I can set them in the, the lathe and I'm just going to grip it that way around in between two tapers and machine it that way. That way there's no setting up time, you just put them on and drill them. It would have been better if he left the bearings in because you can grip on that actual bearing face. But that there's a machine face, it just wants cleaning up and then a taper in there, one on the other side, it be nothing else but running nice and true. So the first thing we'll do is square these up, drill and ream them, inch, put them onto the mandrel, they're going to be used on and machine the tapers on the mandrel. It's already got one machine face, so we'll use that to start with. Get it running reasonably true. nice and slow just cut there just and take a nice slight cut which is just what I wanted it to do and that's it all the way through That's the mandrel it's going to run on, and that's a nice, a nice fit in there. So that there was dead on an inch. 
and just break that corner, break that edge on there. Now I'll turn it around facing that side and then machine the other one. Right, I've got the mandrel set up in the lathe. It's actually a, it's an old mandrel out of a horizontal milling machine. It's had a bit of a miserable life, but it'll do for what I wanted to do. It's running there within half a thou roughly. So if I machine the two tapers on here and put the drum on, it's got to be running true. After that, it's just a simple case. It's setting the mandrel to run true. Every time I've got a drum to do. Right, so I've got the manual set up with these on so I can machine the tapers. I'm just going to rely on a friction drive, which I think should be more than enough as long as I'm careful to machine those tapers. Right, as you can see, that's plenty of grip just on that friction drive. Just throw this up and then machine the taper. See what works now. That just goes in between the two tapers. There's enough spaces on here just so the nut tightens up. I think this will give enough enough drive grip on those two tapers.
that certainly appears to be running through. We can't get it out really because it's been gripped on the two tape as it have been machined on that mandrel. Quite a decent hold in there. That's all right, that. Eh? One down, something to go. Just driving on that little tape by there. You know, we have to grip it on that in the four jaw chuck and then clock each one in the turn, and we'll be on forever. Well, we'll spend the time and effort to make each tape as up. And I already had the mandrel, which was off an old horizontal milling machine inch mandrel. I've got loads of spare sizes and things to fit it off my milling machine, and these tape has will come in handy for other jobs as well. I do repair on a casting that I actually did quite a while ago. It was a cylinder pump head for Richard's steam wagon. The cylinder pump head. Bell end. 